are what most rivers in Ghana have, have turned into. If you've had Milo tea today, plus a, tin, a whole tin of milk, you will know. You will know what I'm saying. You see the outcome, how, how the Milo tea turns out to be. Yes. This is what a colorless water. Colorless water. This is what it has turned into as a result of illegal mining. This is very sad. This is Authentic Plus TV. Can you do subscribe, share, and like? Also follow us on all social media platforms. So this is about the say no to Galamse. Angry Ghanaians took to the streets to demonstrate against illegal mining. And most of them, most of them are complaining bitterly. Even some, to the extent that they burnt the NPP flag, the NPP banner because of their silence over the issue. Let's have a look. We have youth in this country. Burn it all. Do we have youth in this country? I'm a 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 i I'm this this is very very sad and a serious situation because illegal mining has been one of the top issues Ghan Ghanaians are trying to put an end to every chamber in ghana every corner you pass in ghana they are talking about illegal mining every gun every member is trying his or her possible best so that the elders and the elders and leaders and also the chiefs will hear their plights so that they will put an end i mean the actors in this illegal mining will put an end to it Let's listen to this woman as she's also complaining bitterly. She complained, oh, serious one. Let's listen to her. Hi, mommy. Mommy, what's your name? My name is Naden Swa. Naden Swa. Um, tell me, why are you taking part in this protest? Because my, grand, my grandchildren will drink this in two years' time if I don't put a stop to Galamse. It has to end. It has to end now or never? I don't want my grandchildren to drink this. I, I want clean water today. Not tomorrow, not know. two years old. Today, it has gone on for too long. It has to end. Galam say no more. Uh, government tells us that they're doing a lot, you know, to fight. They are doing the what? They are doing what? They are doing what? what are we are the ones here. Where is the government? Government should come and tell us what, what he's doing. Mean, and then when we understand and we see the action, then we know what is That's what. All. No action. We will not go home. We will be here three days. Galam say water. Wait, you, this, you like what did you get this one? It looks like River Pra. My son brought it for me. You want to taste it? No, you're going to have it. Really? You, you want to taste this it? Is, this is from what? The River Pra? Yes. For real? Fellow Ghanaian himself went and brought me. He's my son. He brought me my own sample to use today. Go and ask him. Wow. He went and got so many samples from so many rivers and gave me River Pra today. Thank you for talking to us. Well, so, I'm a so according to her, she can't be silenced. She can't. Because if she doesn't protest now, if she doesn't do anything about it now, her grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren will come and meet the same situation. And they will also pass through the same situation and be drinking this, this same water. And mind you, this water is not safe for consumption. You cannot take in this water and feel safe and feel secured. You see? So she has to protest so that her future generations will not come and meet the same situation. That is why she's also there today to protest against the situation. And I believe this protest, at the end of everything, the outcome will be positive. The elders and also the authorities will join hand together to
to save Ghanaians from this issue because if not, if not, if not, what will happen in Ghana wouldn't be good because if this river, these rivers that have turned out to be like this, and yes, so the Galamse activity is still ongoing and nothing is done about it, then the rest of the rivers left out there will also turn out to be like this in the next year or next two years to come. And when that happens, we will, Ghana will now have to import water. And I believe you and I wouldn't want that to happen. I believe so. However, let us all join hands together so that the elders and also the authorities and the government will hear the plight of Ghana and then this illegal mining will come to an end. This is the Authentic Plus TV. My name is Sarah Tete. Kindly do subscribe, share and like. Also follow us on all social media platforms.